You don't need to jiggle it loose. Turn the goddamn bag slightly and just bend it. Oh, I'm a backseat gamer. I'm a fucking backseat gamer. I can't. I can't. I can't handle this. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You like time travel? Yeah. That's good, man. That's real good. Because we have yet another episode of Link Click. Episode 7. I believe we are all ready for some more time travel. Jesus, what the fuck? Um, well, this is awkward. You're telling me. Uh, I should probably go, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, door's over there. Y yeah, yeah, you know? Y yeah, I got it. Yeah, y yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See be ya. careful on your way out. He's gone. Um, so that happened. Man, ever since I started this show, all this time travel stuff and all these time travel shenanigans have been happening to me and I just can't believe at some point I'm going to go back in time previously on Link Click. A couple of things we learned was that they can indeed go back in time through pictures. Now, the reason they went back in time through pictures is because there was this kid. Ugh, ugh, I got chills. There was this kid who got kidnapped, apparently, or taken somewhere or something. The kid disappeared. And the father asked them to find out what happened. Now, apparently, uh, Zhao, Xiao Xiao, Xiao Xiao, the girl, um, had seen the kid like three years ago when the kid got kidnapped, uh, had seen the kid walking with some other person. And I believe in her memories, the black haired kid was not there, right? Maybe they hadn't even met at the time. Who knows? Actually, I think they had. The point is, he wasn't there in her memories, I think, most likely. More importantly, we learned that if they go back into the past through a camera, both of them kind of like, there are changes in how the powers work for both of them. Uh, Mr. Lu, when he looks through a uh, like camera footage, he sees like every camera within a fucking mile, one kilometer radius or something, like 12 hours. Uh, as for the black haired kid, when he goes back in time through a camera, like camera footage, he actually just appears there as himself, which means it's not just going into someone's body anymore. They can straight up, physically, go back into the past as themselves. And unfortunately, as they were chasing the um, the kidnapper or following them, they ran straight into Miss Xiao Xiao or whatever. It's just weird to say her name. In any case, let's get into the next episode, shall we? You've got half a day to explore. Be smart. Keep a low profile like you were never there. You must not <laughs> Be smart, keep a low profile, and like you were never there. Um, mission failed. We'll get him next time. Change the past. Wait, what are you doing? Too late. There? For real, didn't you go overseas? Don't attract any oh. attention. <laughs> hey, don't just run from us. I don't understand. He and Lou weren't supposed to be back yet. Where'd he go? Okay, are we crazy? That was him, right? Except for the fact, imagine, imagine this. Okay, so so we don't know if at this point back in the past, they already had their powers. Because I've come, kind of come to the conclusion that they didn't have their powers since birth. So I think they probably got their powers either within the last three years or maybe slightly further down uh, earlier in the past. But she, if she knows of their power now, she could put together, she could put two and two together and be like, he's not supposed to be here, so why is he? And why does he look like he's freaking out? Hmm. 
maybe he's back in the past. Imagine being in that situation where you know that someone is from the future. Like you living right now is their past. Like you've already happened. You're just someone's memory, essentially. Hallucinated it? Maybe it's the heat. <sighs> you could have warned me she was walking by. This is too strange. Here, I'm gonna call him. It's not my fault. Some of the cameras are dead. I can't see through them. I'll work this out, I'm sure. <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Where did Dodo go? I don't see him either. I mean, you ran in the opposite direction. So... Bro. Bro, what? oh my god. What would happen if he jumps out of the picture right now? Or the footage, or whatever, right? And then he goes into the same footage again. Would there be two of them? Bro, it, would that, like, break the time-space continuum? I can't help you now. They've left the radius of my power. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually asked the question, why the fuck was the... And, and I think I got distracted in last episode, but why the fuck was the kid just going with this random stranger? Like... Huh? Like, I know children are fucking stupid, but like... Huh? We failed the job. No, you didn't. All you have to do is try again. Jump out of the picture, go into another picture, or another frame of the same footage. I wanted to tell you before, I used to stop by your shop when I was in college. The day it happened... Okay, so she's she's older than she looks. I thought she would... She, she, I thought she was honestly, uh, like, the youngest of them. Um, and that she was probably, like, in high school or something with someone but said nothing if only i'd stopped them or told you he'd be here i could have saved you from so much pain i'm so so sorry i tried to put it behind me not necessarily they saw the the culprit's back right you can gauge a lot of information from that. A larger person wearing like reddish, uh, like a like a reddish, uh, like hoodie or something. And when I saw you, I didn't even have the courage to say something. Listen to me. It's fine. If I keep on searching, I know I'll find him. What you He's dead, bro. You gotta move on. Right. You've given me hope. More clues are out there somewhere. So I'll keep looking for a decade or more. I swear I won't stop. One day I will find him. I'm sure that Dodo is out there waiting for me, dreaming that his parents will bring him. And if uh, if Shao and remembers the face of the now the culprit, which I don't think she does, but regrets. I should keep searching can, for new could she there. have? Hold whether or not it was a male or female. You don't mind. Do you happen to have any photos from around the time of the incident? None the cops found helpful. Let me find them. They aren't much, but there's something. Hold on. Whoa. Are you using the same phone you had then? Yes. Happily. I don't want to lose anything saved on it. Why why is he why is he so surprised? You know, normal people actually keep their phones, like, the same phone for, like, at least five years. Not all of us can afford fucking the new iPhone every year, you know? Move. Pay, like, 1,400 euro for a new oh, phone every single year. Snap. After the store opened, we honestly didn't have time to take many pics. Wait. You gotta, you gotta think, okay? There are many things you can do, especially with this power. Like, it should be easy enough... Like, think about it, right? They said that, well, this is premeditated, right? If this is premeditated and they checked out where all the cameras were so they wouldn't be spotted on the cameras, 
that means that they must have been in the area a lot previously. So go into the past and just look if there's anyone matching the description that, of what you saw. So kind of overweight, female, and and looking around too much, right? Back up. What was that? Huh? Not sure what you mean. There, that one. Who took this? Huh. Toto must have taken this one. He loved taking pictures. I couldn't bring myself to delete even the blurry ones. He might want them. Don't, don't, don't tell me you're gonna go into the child. I can't even say it. You know, I think this was from that afternoon. Nobody looks too suspicious. He accidentally took a picture. This could be it. Just let's just let's just say that the black-haired kid does not use his power in this case. Let's hope that, because I don't want to say that the black-haired kid went inside the child. Although it's... Ah, it's hard to say, right? What is he going to see? 12 hours as the child. And, and the picture was taken pretty much right before he was kidnapped. So... Let's go. Please don't go into the child. Please don't go into the child. Because again, it's been three years. The child is dead. A hundred percent. There's no way the child can still be alive. And even then, I would, I would say that Lou already seeing 12 hours as the child. Why do they need the black haired kid to even go in? Maybe they can use like the black haired kid going into the child to like gain more evidence of the kidnapper or like you know gain more information about the kidnapper because the child obviously would not be doing so but i guess we're gonna do some uh detective conan stuff nice any moment now dodo will be taken from here i wasn't able to see the kidnapper's face or how they grabbed him so watch out why not That's weird there's a huh why why not how does that work bunch of people around who would nab someone in broad daylight with so many witnesses you need to be huh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. what do you mean you weren't able to see who kidnapped who kidnapped them like huh what i thought his power allowed him to see the next 12 hours through the eyes of the person who took the photo. Is that not the case? I'm confused. Whoever took this child will pay. Let's do this. That's it. Dear, and give your sweet old auntie the ball back. Auntie? Why does this smell so good? Drop it! Ah, so uh, chloroform. No wonder we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> or something. Keep focused. Snap out of it! Sweetie, follow what? me. What? What? I really hope. Okay, and this is important, right? I really, really hope that they actually have some sort of legitimate chemical in the real world that they can explain this away. I'm sorry, but like, if it was this simple to just, with one like sniff of a chemical, to just be like a, someone's slave, to just be completely like instantly taken out of your fucking mind and just do whatever people tell you to. I really hope that they don't just like say, oh, it was some sort of chemical. You know, I, I, I hope they actually bring in the legitimate medical, like real world medical name of a, a chemical that might have this type of effect. 
because otherwise this is some bullshit okay that otherwise this is some heavy bullshit i could buy this if it was like some sort of like chloroform or something where a child could uh smell this and be like oh shit almost like black out like half half black out or whatever right just barely standing right but he the black hair kid is not so simply knocked out i feel like what's wrong with me i feel dizzy i can't control my body but... what do you mean you can't control your body huh so this is i would say the first time that i'm not really like agreeing with how they do things okay it would be one thing if you know his vision is blurry because he like i don't know like he sniffed some fucking chloroform or something right and he's weak and his vision is blurry okay understandable fully understandable and it would be understandable if he's actively going along with the the kidnapper because he has to right because that's what happened in the past so obviously he has to go along but he's saying stuff like i can't control my body huh the fuck does that mean what do you mean you can't control your body the only explanation i can think of is <laughs> i'm sorry like there's no drug as far as i know there's no drug or chemical can that can just give control of your body to, to some kidnapper right it doesn't make sense the only explanation i can think of the only one is he can't control his body because his mind is wonky right now right because of the chloroform or whatever the fuck he 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 sniffed in right and because he's losing control he's kind of losing control of like what happened in the past he's losing control of the body to the child again and because the child instinctively kind of went along with this with this person the child once again kind of took over so that's why he can't control himself you need to stay with me oh let's check out the shop the line isn't too long yet hey it's you There it is. There it is. Yes. So if they did go, that's why they didn't use the camera footage again. Because they would see, they would create a fucking, you know, a paradox. They would create a fucking uh, massive problem with time. Because they only had like 15 seconds, right? And they, they, they stayed in the area for 15 seconds, I think. That's why they can't use the footage again because, yeah, fuck. But that, that confirms the fact that you can go back in time to the same timeline and have multiple versions of yourself in the same location without knowing. Finally awake. I'm not gonna lie, I... I so, okay, before we continue, okay? The child has to die. Either the child dies, or he is constantly being medicated and held in prison by this kidnapper. There is no other way, okay? Absolutely none. No bullshit like, oh, uh, the the old lady, the, the fat lady who, who kidnapped them, told them that, oh, your parents are dead. Uh, there's no point in contacting your parents because they're dead. Uh, I'm gonna take care of you now. Blah, 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 blah. Like, there's no... You can't do that. You just can't do that. Because there's no way this child would be that fucking stupid. I mean, I know children are fucking stupid, but like, you know? There's no way that this child would have gone along with some random person, woken up in some random place, and then just never tried to escape or, or go back to their parents. And just believed everything that the the old lady said. I don't know why I keep say, saying old fat. I mean fat lady. The traffic her drug. Just gotta wait until the fat lady sings. Listen up, you're going to be out of time before long. Where am I? I'm not sure. You were unconscious. I couldn't see anything. How could such a horrible person sleep so soundly? Don't sit there. Investigate. Man, who the fuck is this kidnapper? 
so sloppy. Okay, first things first, look out the window. The first thing I would do here is look out the window. Why? Because if you look out the window, you can see your location. Look out the window. Quietly. Look out the window. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, don't be fucking stupid. Look out the window. You look out the window, you can tell where you are. Look at look at this. Like let me see the wide shot, right? You see this? They must be somewhere high. We can see lights here, kinda, I think. So it, it must be a pretty tall building. Because if, it, if they were like on the first floor, there's no way the window would be open and the child would, could easily escape. So they, they have to be at least multiple stories high, which means you should be able to see where you are. And considering, I mean, I'm just saying, look out the window. That is the first thing I would do. Look out the damn window. Because you can, I mean, you know, you can right, immediately so tell where where you are. I'm on it. Just a second. What did he say? What did he say? The red sun hostel. I'm on it. Just a second. That's not his location. That's just some document that he found. There's not one around here. Like I'm telling but you. I see about thirty. They're using the map and everything. Just look out the window. Maybe you can find a landmark. Other so you can already start narrowing down the fucking shit. Come on. This kidnapper already took you from the city and hid you. In that case, how did Look she out travel? the window. She would Look out the window. For public transportation. Look out the window. She probably still has it on her. Look out the window. See if you can find a purse or wallet somewhere. Look out the window. Look out the window. Please look out the window. The window's right there. Look at the window. Please. Fuck. I mean, the wallet... The wallet is good, because you can then get the name of the kidnapper. <gasps> Quiet. Quiet. Slow down. Son of a bitch. Worst, worst comes to worst, right? She wakes up, grab the bag, get the fucking ID out of the bag quickly while you evade her, look at the fucking picture, look at the name, and remember it. And then jump out of the fucking kid, and bam, you have your information. Though I would have... I'm just saying I would have looked outside... Just pull something out, anything. Jackpot. The thing, it's Don't, tangled calm it's down. Talisman. What do you mean? Bro, all you need an <sighs> ah! Fuck, I'm so tense. I'm so tense. Makes no sense. Just hurry. You do <sighs> I'm a backseat gamer. I'm a fucking backseat gamer. I can't. I can't. I can't handle this. I'm a fucking backseat gamer. You don't need to jiggle it loose. Turn the goddamn bag slightly and just bend it. Look, you know, you can, you can, you can, ah, ah, you don't need to jiggle it. You, you know, like what? Time left. They're not doing this well. They're not, they're not showing this well. I'm, I'm just saying you can just, you can just turn the fucking card. Just, just turn, you don't need to pull it out. Just turn the fucking card. Though, I suppose maybe, okay, you can, okay, 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 maybe, right, Ex the excuse, right, maybe it's dark, right, he can't see the name, he can't read it, but, you know, in that case, they probably should have made the fucking room darker, like, a lot darker, to show that he can't see, or just have a small quick scene saying, I, you know, I'm trying to read the name, I can't see it, I need to have, I, I need to bring the fucking, uh, I need to bring it to the, to the moonlight. But in that case, just take the entire bag. Just take the entire bag. Better yet, 
take the entire bag, go into the bathroom, close the door, because there's probably a lock on the on the bathroom, probably. <sighs> oh my! Oh my! Uh, he's 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 a noob. He's a noob. Oh my god! I can't. He's he's a noob. He's a noob. He's a fucking noob. He's a he's he's ah uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ooh, oh my god, oh my god. I've never been so invested in a fucking scene before. Oh my god. Who cares, bro? At this point, just fucking look at the ID. Who cares what happens to you? It's already happened. It's been three years. Look at the damn photo. Look at the damn name. Remember the name. Information is what's important here. Who cares what... The, who cares, you know? Who cares? Oh my god, she's still asleep. Oh, huh? Just look at the damn photo. Just look at the damn name. Who cares that... Who cares if she wakes up? Bingo. Her name's May Pien. Her ID number is 594-810-8181. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. That was actually kind of scary, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck is that, bro? I don't think that's human. Jump out. Jump out. Immediately. The kid is d dead. Dead and gone. It's three years in the past, okay? Just jump out. You have what you, ha you, have what you came here for. Of course, it would have been great if you got the location as well by looking out the window. But, you know, it is what it is. You're gonna have to just make do with the name. <laughs> what the fuck? I did not expect that. Um... What? 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 What the fuck just happened, bro? It must have been a reflex, but Jesus Christ! Whoa, those moves I learned from Master Suwin are no joke. She's lucky I'm a child right now. I could have killed her, you little brat. That's not a good thing, but for the wrong reason. It's not about killing her, actually. Oh my God, I just. I, I think I figured it out. Wait, no? Shit. It's actually more complicated than I thought. The solution that I thought of just now. It just came to me. The way you can... The way you can have the kid survive. Okay? The only way you can have the kid survive is... And, and not be kidnapped is... And not have amnesia is... You simply have the kid not reveal himself for three years. And then after this event now with them going back into the past has happened, then you have the kid reveal himself in the present time so that everything would play out the, the, the same way. But how would you do that, right? He can only be inside the kid for 12 hours. Maybe they can use the loophole of, of taking a picture and then, like, like I said a couple episodes ago where they take a picture and then, like, it, like complicated, but like, you know, have enough pictures for every 12 hours, basically, for three years. And then you control the kid for three years straight and then reveal the kid to the parents. Because I don't think the kid would be able to survive on his own. Even if you tell the kid via some sort of like message saying, hey, don't appear in front of your parents or, or don't like, you know, turn yourself in or, or don't don't reveal yourself for the next three years. Like, I don't think the kid would like go along with that or be able to pull it off. Because otherwise, I mean, the kid is dead. And that's what I kind of was talking about why killing the the kidnapper is a bad idea because who's gonna who's gonna if you kill the kidnapper then you're just changing the past again. Scared to fight back. They just cry. But you, you dare touch me? Rip out your tongue. You'll scream and spend the rest of your life in pain. <laughs> Evil me, PN. You heartless waste. I can't believe how deranged you are. Even the gods won't tolerate you anymore. They sent me here to teach you a lesson! Maniac kid, what are you talking about? Ah! 
Show her what's up. Listen here, old lady. In three years, you'll be brought to justice. Take my advice. Look after this kid. Start doing good deeds so when the end arrives, you can beg for mercy. Huh? Otherwise, after you die, you'll spend an eternity burning in the depths of hell. You're possessed. Who are you? I am your ancestor. Mm, we'll see what happens. And once it happens, I'm going to probably have to rip this episode a, a new asshole. Unfortunately. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Young, try to relax. If you're nervous... Kids sure to pick up on something like that. I'm not nervous, just excited. I've waited so long for this. You need to prepare yourself in case the Act Shire doesn't recognize you after three years. It's important that you take your time and try not to rush him. Yes, I understand that. And I'm ready. We'll <laughs> I swear to you, I haven't harmed a single person in the last three years. And him. I raised that boy as though he were my own flesh and blood. He got the best care I could afford. I've repented my past mistakes every day. I beg you. <sighs> May PN, stay on the right track. Your ancestors are watching. <gasps> I hear you, spirit. Thank you. So, your name is Chung Xiao Sure, is that right? What is your name? So, your name is Chung Xiao Sh. Huh? The who? Your name is Chung Xiao Sh, is that? Right? Huh? Da Hu? So, your name is Chung Xiao Sh, is that? Chung? Eh, fuck it, I'll just write down Chung. Mr. Chung. And the white haired boy is Lu Guang, which means the girl is Chao Ling. All the rumors online about a powerful old witch are just a cover story. You're the ones who have the ability to enter photographs, aren't you? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> then explain this to me. Are you kidding? Chun was just here a few days ago looking at this. Why are you bugging me about a cold case? Stop there. No. What is it? This guy a suspect or something? Uh, yeah. What I'm wondering. This is actually kind of what I figured might happen as well because he was on the cameras i thought maybe that because he's now he was now on the cameras the police would start to suspect him because i mean all the cameras around the area where the kidnapping happened you see this guy running through the cameras like huh who the fuck is this guy would obviously be suspicious right it's simple why do you show up in surveillance footage from the milk tea shop three years ago Hey, relax. I'm just curious about how your power works. Take this envelope. It contains photos from a major case I've got. I could use your help. Okay, so I'll try to keep this brief, okay? I think this was definitely the worst episode uh, in terms of how they resolved the story, right? I think, I think honestly, I think this part, this, 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 <laughs> I mean, this was amazing, okay? I thought everything up until the resolution was good. Everything except the resolution was good. The resolution was shit. I'll explain why. So remember what this woman said? <clears throat> Let's listen to this again. Single person in the last three years. And him. I raised that boy as though he were my own flesh and blood. He got the best care I could afford. And the problem is, they don't go into detail as to what happened to the kid in those three years. Remember what I said earlier? Which was, the kid would never just not do anything. The black-haired kid, uh, Chung, 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 he said... 
raise this kid as well as best you can. How would you do that? The kid is a victim, a kidnapping victim. There's no way the kid would just stand by and not do anything to try to escape. After a while, like you might, you might be able to get away with, uh, your parents asked me to look after you for a while, right? You might be able to get away with that for maybe a week or two. After that, the child would be like, uh, where's my mommy and daddy? Why am I over here? Where are my parents? Can I call them, right? There is no way you would be able to somehow fool the kid for three years. So, the kid would have had to have been imprisoned. But like... I raised that boy as though he were my own flesh and blood. He got the best care I could afford. Got the best care he, she could afford. I'm trying to imagine a scenario where this woman kept the kid imprisoned in the apartment for three years. Somehow. Without the kid trying to escape. It would be one thing if we got like some sort of, you know, one of the police officers being like, the kid was imprisoned for three years in this apartment. And so he's kind of like, you know, he's kind of like a little bit like mentally, mentally fucked, right? Then I would be like, okay, I can kind of see it, maybe, right? But they didn't even say that. Instead, they had the woman say, oh, I took care of him as if he was my own. The only way that would have made any sense is if you still imprison them in the apartment. Because otherwise, the child would have 100% tried to escape. 100%. Or at least gone to the police or something. Anything. You know, I, 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 just, I just can't think of a scenario where the kid just doesn't try to escape. Granted, we don't even know how young the child was, I don't think. I don't think they said. Like, maybe if you say, okay, the child was three years old, then I could maybe see it. But the child was old enough to talk normally with the parents and use a fucking smartphone. It must have been like five, six years old, maybe even more. So it's like, I, I don't think, I don't think she would have been able to raise him for three years without the kid wanting to escape. It is possible that they struck fear into the woman enough to the point where, you know, she, instead of killing the kid or selling him off or something, just took care of him and raised him, but still held him captive, sedated him and like drugged him and maybe beat him as well. So it's like, it was probably a lot worse than what they made it seem to be. We can't really take this lady's word when she says, oh, I gave him the best care possible. You know, I, I, I took care of him as if he was my own child, which probably means you kept him prisoner and you beat him and you drugged him and what are the fuck else, right? I just wish the police would have said that. Oh yeah, you know, he was held prisoner in this apartment for three years, in one small apartment for three years. He, he was beaten. There's signs of beatings. There's signs of drug abuse. You know, st stuff like that. I wish they would have just said that. Then I would have been like, oh, okay, it makes sense, kind of. But they didn't say that. I, I just kind of wish they would have. I don't know. I feel like the resolution here was just too... Maybe maybe it was rushed? I don't know. I just... I, I, I don't know. It didn't feel as strong as the other episodes. But that's all, that's all I can say. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Link Click. It was definitely... Like I said, the entire episode was good. Uh, except for the resolution, I think. I think the resolution could have been better. There might be another way of doing it, but who knows. In any case, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in episode 8 of Link Click.